When did you start singing? How old were you when you started singing? Um, my goodness, that's going back. I started <laughs> singing um, professionally when I left school when I was 16, but I was also singing in uh, clubs and competitions from the age of about 12. Because I went to drama school as well. You see, I went to voice production from 10 years old in drama school because I wanted to do acting or singing, one or the other. Why? Know. I mean, it was something your parents wanted you to do? Or? No, 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 no. I mean, none of my family's been involved with um, theatre or show business or anything at all. It's just, I, I don't know. <laughs> it just happened. I just always knew I mean, that. If I was forgive me for saying so, I mean, I don't mean to be impertinent, but it does seem a curiosity. Uh, mm. At the age of 10 or 11, with no help or encouragement from your parents and nothing else in the family suggests that you might go into a theatrical world. Mm. I mean, can you remember as a little girl why it was, what it was that attracted you? Was it the bright lights or Bobby V or what was it? No, I suppose, I suppose in a way it was the bright lights. I mean, I, I used to watch, go and see uh, films in the cinema like The Wizard of Oz, watch Judy Garland and watch the pop stars of that day on the TV and I used to think, I would, I want, I would love to do it and I'm going to do it. Oh, that's what I want to be. And I, I grew up like everybody sort of said, oh yeah, pat me in the head or she'll grow out of it, don't worry, but I didn't. Are you impressionable? It depends what you mean by impressionable. Well, they obviously affected you at a very early stage, to the extent of you saying, that's what I want to do with the rest of my yeah. life. I mean, are you still an impressionable person? Uh, if, it's, if it's anything good or anything... Um, depends what it is. No, musically. Say, musically. I mean, if you hear a record by, say, Paul McCartney, mm. do you say, that is the kind of song that I'd like to sing, or by the Osmond Brothers, that's the kind of song oh, I want to sing? Oh, yeah. obviously, yes. yeah. Very impressionable. I mean, there's, there's two names, Paul McCartney and the Osmonds. Do you like them? I like Paul McCartney. I don't <laughs> like the Osmonds. Uh, no, um, Paul McCartney's excellent, you know, first class. Uh, I like people like Joan, Joan Armour Trading, Roxy Music, um, mm. people like I mean, Ella Fitzgerald. Given your singles, which have broken out in this country, yeah. happily, fortunately, I'm sure not before time, uh, disco seems to be a word that would come into the reckoning with your name. I mean, are you afraid of being saddled with the word disco for the rest of your life, or what? Um, I'm not afraid, but I, I don't really, personally, I don't want to be saddled with that that sort of type of music. Basically, I think, because Feels Like I'm In Love was, it wasn't a heavy disco number, it was a pop disco. Mm. And, of course, it's my first single, nobody's ever heard of me over here, so obviously, if you have a number one with a single, everybody's going to say, oh, that is the type of, you put a little label on you. There's another thing that happens when you get a number one with a single as well, which is that the whole system takes over. The promotional boys move in, the record companies <laughs> move in, the audiences move in, everybody expects and demands more and more and more mm. of you, and takes more and more of it, until so possibly there's nothing of you left. Well, exactly, I mean... I think when you're in this business, you can't, you can't, you can't sit back and say, "Well, I can't do this. I won't do that. I don't want to do it." You've got to do it, because I mean, after all, I put myself in this position. It was me that wanted to sing. It was me that wanted to make records. So I mean, it's the public that goes out and buy, buys my records. <laughs> When are you going to get married, settle down and chuck it all in? Oh, God. <laughs> when are you going to ask me? <laughs> I don't know, actually. I don't know. I mean, I'm quite happy. I've just bought my first house. 
Um, I have a good social life. I'm very happy. I'm very independent. And boundless success stretching into the years ahead. Oh, God, I hope so. Kelly I Marie, so. thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Just one.